What's up, guys? Welcome to an episode of You Nerf My Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Will Thunder Ranger, and today we'll be tackling Akuma, a man that was S tier that got nerfed but feels like he can still beat up a couple people here and there. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, what is You Nerf My Tips and Tricks? Well, it's a series where we tackled characters' tips and tricks back in the day, and now they need a revamp. Because, obviously, they nerfed it, so now we have to redo it. So that's going to suck, because i got to go over some of the characters they got hit. Does this include assists? Yes. Characters? Yes. Projectiles that hit people? Yes. So without further ado, let's get Akuma started. And you nerfed my tips and tricks. Oh, well, you know, that's free. I mean, if you want to waste it, that's on you. Hadouken! Hadouken! See, you know, that thing does cost four, but it's not too bad, you know? Wait, are you turtling? I'm confused. You try to turtle Akuma? Oh, that was adorable. You actually thought that would work. Akuma's too godly for that life. Ow. Oh, yeah. Go show you! So, Akuma isn't too bad. Um, you know, even though he hit a nerf in his life, he's not technically, you know, like, trash. He's, he's good, but he's not bad. He's in the middle. Not too bad being in the middle. A character that has a shield is always good to have, especially if that shield has a stagger effect that lets you get into Ghoul Shore you easier. Or an assist spam, or whatever you got planned. A lot of things. So Akuma is coming out with a nice 32% health pool and 42% strike damage, and that's just how Akuma is. You don't give a crap about his shields. Oh, I should have saw that coming. Yeah, just, you know, just dash forward, because right now that's what you need right now is a good dash forward. Oh, get pwned, buddy! Oh, yeah, free damage. Oh! Oh, snap! Akuma too godly! Oof! Now, I'm gonna tell you where he done goofed, and I think all of you know because movie Zack and Kimmy give him that extra edge, plus a couple of those punches gets you back your shield. Now, his shield didn't need to get so high. Oh, wow, lucky. Oh, no, wrong move! Cracker Jacks! Oh, God. Kimmy? Hadouken! In the face. Well played. So, even though, like, Akuma does go through some risk factors of both his Gadokens being that 4 to... 4 to 5, but, you know, Guile gets to, like, stay the same with his supers, because those are... F those are nice, right? Those are fair. Yeah, those are fair. He nerfed my tips and tricks, man. <laughs> Anyways... So, obviously, the movie Zack and Kim team is always Akuma's really strong suit for the damage the assists give. And Akuma setting it up with ease with a nice Gadoken into a dash punch into this into that. Akuma hasn't really changed much besides the fact he's got, he's got some good shields. The reason why I did that is so I can do that. Kind of bait out a block. It's secret tech. Oh, of course. That's a free 2,000 damage. That's crazy. Hadouken! We black him. Get that EX got Doken just ready. You know? Wow. Wow. Oh god. Oh god. Get get pwned by my own things. Oh god. See? Kimmy's too free. You gotta put her at a five. That's just ridiculous. That hit? Really? GG's. So that kind of sucks. And I don't like the fact that Kimmy's so free to be a 3. It's it's It shouldn't be that free for a stagger. A stagger should have a 4 on that. Or take it away in general because she's a freaking common. Let's get to the next bit. Movie Black and some Tommy. Good crit damage and enough to give Akuma some more oomph on his damage pool. So, you know, Akuma going through this nerf... I mean, it did affect the character in his S-tier ranking, brought him down to a little bit of the A-tier side of things. 
I mean, the way Akuma was working was pretty much got Doken into a Gore Shoryu. Easy stuff. But, you know, now you got to kind of work for it to have 9 energy just to finish the full Godoken combo. It ain't easy. Uh, you always got to play some trap tricks on that. You got to trap them, try to do things. And that's how you got to do it sometimes. Now, I got a good lone warrior hand. I don't know why I stopped. Okay, listen. I don't know who you think I am. But that was nice free damage. I like it. I'm not going to let that hit me. And thanks for wasting all that good energy. I mean, you don't want to waste too much energy when you're playing Ryu. See, now i got to save up 10. You know what's funny? I was going for the block. And the block just didn't want to work. That's fine. So what I'm kind of going for here is... That. But I still froze up for some reason. I don't know why. It's weird. Can we used to have some good oomph power? That's free. And that's free. So you kind of always got to give Akuma the double three cost assist. In a way, Akuma's meant for more of the three cost builds now these days. Anything with the three to kind of give him that extra punch, extra kick, and all that other good stuff that you see before you. Not much is, I mean, a lot has changed to Akuma ever since he got nerfed. A.K.A. him jumping over breakers. A.K.A. goddamn, his Godoken went up to a four, but it's not too bad. It keeps him balanced. I mean, Gore sure you maybe we could have discussed it to a four as well, but, you know, we'll just leave it at a five. Yeah, totally. Makes sense. I mean, you, you gotta always find balance within the moves itself. I mean, if you're gonna make that a four, make that a four, so at least Akuma has more build power. It's really hard to get damage here and there when you're playing Akuma, but it's not too bad. Akuma's got what he takes to, to be a rock star. Nandesto just a kun? Nandesto just a kun? Of course he has that. Of course. He's just waiting. I got a Gadoken. Oh, my God. Thought he was going for the other thing. Hadoken. See, that's faster. And I appreciate that speed. I mean, I, I mean, I don't know if Akuma is like... Oh, yeah, dead. Goodbye. That's going to do over 1,700. Yep. I don't know what... I mean, Akuma in that matchup can get screwed if he has his shield. Because, aka, you got to save a Hadoken for mostly... Hyper Force's Yellow Breakers, and so on and so forth. I mean, when he had a three-cost Hadoken, he had he had a lot of potential. It was like a dash punch. It was good in opponent's face, and, you know, it kind of helped him out. But, you know, where Akuma is, like, how he has to work is, like, in a weird sense, not as great as you want it to be. I mean, Akuma's still good. I mean, he's got a good shield attack, but the fact that they increased the shield was a little bit too much to a point where, like, maybe you should have lowered the Gore Shoryu if you were just going to increase his shield. You can't just give him a double cost increase without at least pushing down some of the other stuff. That's just my opinion. Why do you get, like, all these shields? I'm just, I'm just like, dead-ass curious. You know, free, free, Godokens. Nani? Nandesta? Hey, uh! My God. Hold up, let me just check something. All right, guys, welcome back to They Nerf My Tips and Tricks. Sorry, I was just trying to see why we were getting such a bad Wi-Fi signal, but we're good to go. So, like, they, they, they nerfed Akuma, I get it. He was too busted with that Godoken. We get it, we get it. But, you know, like, if you're going to push that up to a 4, at least put his Gore Shore you at a 4, so at least he has some balance. And if you're going to put the Shield at a 4, why not put Gore Shore you at a 4? Like, he... You get what I'm saying here? Like, the balancing on this is, like, really, like, screwed up. Like, you gotta look at the positives and negatives of what one thing does and what one thing doesn't. Especially when it comes to Akuma-san. Hadouken! Tommy! 
Good, I wanted another Kongeku combo. Oh, oh God. I have you're so lucky I gave you that speed. Go sue you! It's usually good to always go hyper on that, too. Hello, Ken! Go sue you! So you kind of got to pick up the pace. I mean, once you got, like, a tone with this guy, you're, like, good to go, you know? Hello, Ken! And it kind of, like, helps, it helps you out. I mean, Akuma didn't really fall too far from the tree. It's just that they took away so much stuff to a point where it's like, all right, if you're going to make his shield a four, then let him keep his air game because now it costs four to dodge. But I guess since he's not Tommy, he doesn't get that. Just a legacy work jokes for newcomers here. But, you know, you got Akuma here. And, like, his moves are a little bit unbalanced to a point. By unbalanced, I mean the EP is too high for what it's worth. Kongeku's, like, the only three costs. Everything goes to four, four, five. That's That's a terrible rating. You should at least have two. If you're going to put that thing to a four, the shield attack, you better put Gorsh Ryu to a four. That way he can actually just move off both those attacks. In necessary. When necessary. Yeah, take that. Come at me, bro. Yeah, he's not here. I mean, a 1500 uh, three, uh, four cost ain't too bad, but I have legit had a crit for it. I mean, that's 1800. That's another. Eight like, right there, I can get that same result with, believe it or not, Psycho Red. And that's pretty sad if I can get the same results with Psycho Red with a Rolling Thunder. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Just doesn't, um, doesn't make sense. Like, what Akuma does with that Gorshuryu is almost the exact same thing as Psycho Red doing a rolling slash. Is it weird? Yeah. Is it very weird? Oh, hell yeah, it's weird. It's not right. That's why it's called You Nerfed My Tips and Tricks. Because they legit nerfed Akuma to a point I gotta redo him to show, like... Oh, is he still, like, there? Is he? I mean, he's still there. It's just, like, it's just doesn't feel oomphy. By oomphy, I mean actually nice on his... Con I canceled that. And here comes the Kimmy. Here comes the movie Black. It's like, what? The, what's the damage at, homies? Oh, look at that free damage, though, with reads. Order now at tpublic.com. The reads are real. Hadouken! Get him, Trent. Power up. EX. Godoken. Oh my god, really? But you know, Guile gets free attacks, you know? It just. I don't understand it. Why Guile gets like a free, like, block here and there. Like, his attack can't be blocked. Stuff like that. It just doesn't make sense. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, it just. I mean, Akuma always felt like he was a middle slot warrior. We all knew this. From the get go. I'm gonna freeze him if I had a chance. But guess what? I'm still going to freeze him because it's fun. Because, look, he had, like, nothing, so he's going to die. <laughs> so a nice little freeze when necessary. Uh, I just, like, in my opinion, like, the reason why we had to retackle his tips and tricks was because of the nerf. Because everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. But, you know, the Fire Nation's not here anymore. Avatar saved the world, yeah, yeah. But he didn't save too much of it to save Akuma's EP costs. Again, like, you look at Gore Shuri and like, wow, that attack's only doing, like, a rolling slash damage. Huh. Why don't I just play Psycho Red? Oh, wait, because Akuma has a shield, so Akuma could defend himself. But then again, Gore Shoryu into Gore Shoryuken. I mean, I feel like Mad Dash should have the same speed as Gore. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But, you know, we have, like, those things with these characters. So really, like, the way they nerfed my tips and tricks was just everything that was, Akuma was based off of is now a lie with all that free tech. It's gone. He's like a normal, like, wuss character. Hadouken! Fooeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Telling you, can I get an F for respect for those reeds, man? Fweeze on the ground. C can we p please press that F button for the respect on that reed, folks? Please do. Just saying. I mean, he kind of set himself up for that. If you if it makes sense, like he was trying to go breaker heavy. Where I mean, you had the um, breaker attack. I mean, you could have probably used it to dodge something. I guess you had a shield in the middle. And you just felt like having being a defender where Trini should be more of the attacking type of character. And that is pretty much what that character is about. Uh, you know, like something like that. So, in reality, I mean, Akuma has nerfs and he looks like he can still give you a good match, I guess. Because he has an EX and EXs are really good in... This type of game, gaining energy back is like one of the greatest things to have in this game. And it helps you like kind of kill your opponent faster or kind of extend your combos. Used to extend combos, not anymore. But Gal gets to. Just, 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 you know, just don't shade at Gal because Gal's like stupid OP with his ultis and stuff like that. Wow, that was free into movie black. You know what? I do the same damn thing. Oh, I did it on purpose because, you know. I wanted some... Oh, God. I thought he was going to dash forward. He did not. Yep. Yeah, I deserve to die. Get him, Akuma. Yeah. Wow. Like, it's like crazy. That burning ninja. Get him, Godoken. Use that Trent. Maximize. Trent does more damage than that freaking attack. Go show you! Die! <laughs> so that's why Akuma kind of won't fully die just yet. Because he kind of has some neat setups for what he's worth. He's not bad. I mean, he got nerfed, but he's definitely not garbage like Magna Defender. But, you know, he's not, he's not bad. That's a good thing. It's just the fact that Akuma kind of goes through this phase of... You're wasting so much energy, and you try to save everything. But, you know, I go into this Gore Shoryu, and I'm doing a rolling slash attack. You see my problem here? Do you see it? I'm just I'm just asking, because Daishi does, like, what, like, over 2,000 damage with a 4 cost? But that's okay. Oh, and Silo Throw doing over 2,000? That's okay, too. Am I right, kids? If you can see my face, it's definitely not okay. Throwing! <laughs> What the hell was that? Wait, 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 hold up. Fudge was that? Did you just fudge me? I think I just got fudged on. That didn't make any damn sense. Hadouken! Go show you! I'm just like baffled. Wow, really? You would never see that coming. When did you have time to build up five more energy? You know, the world wants to know. Do projectiles not work close range or something, or am I high? Eesh. Freaking four cost shield. Four. It's like. A, you didn't have to nerf the shield if you're going to get rid of the air tech. I would say give the air tech back now that it is a four cost. B, the hell you taking away the air game when it's a freaking air attack? That's like taking away Lord Draken's air game when he's in the air. Doesn't make any sense. If you're in the air, you should be able to dodge a breaker that's on the ground. If it's a ground attack, you should be able to block it. That's the thing. But, you know, I guess he's not Tommy. If he, guarantee you if Akuma was secretly Tommy, he would have some great tech. I'm, I'm just being serious. With that faint rush. I mean, faint rush stays and RJ couldn't even get a faint rush with that palm attack. Because that would have really made the character good. But then he would have been too busted. Do we really need another Tommy? I don't think so. Back to Akuma here. Like, they, Yeah, they nerfed, man. They nerfed my tips and tricks on this dude. And it drives me nuts. Like, I don't know why. I don't know how. But I know damn well. Really? I mean, I, I kind of had a feeling you had Sledge. I just didn't want to believe you had Sledge. Hadouken! Got that EX version. 
That's fine. You waste too much energy, man. Up. Oh. Yeah, that's instant death right there. Someone's saving a uh, shield in the middle. Hadouken! Oh, you don't have a shield in the middle. So I'm confused. What was your end game here? Ow. Okay. Makes sense. So this, you should definitely not stop dash. Keep dashing. Don't let me trap you. See, that was like the only thing about Kuma. I mean, if you trapped your opponent in the corner, it was easier to do Godoken combos. But, you know, that stopped being a thing for a while. Since it don't cost three, it's it's like now you got to savor the Hadoken. It's not a free attack. You legit need to use it when the time is right. Sure, I'm using it all willy-nilly up in this video, but, you know, you got to you gotta learn to savor your Hadokens. Your Godokens matter. So I'm just, like, saying to myself, like, all right, we got Akuma here. Where can we go with him? I mean, he's got some great tech. He's still a great legendary. Better than most. I mean, he's got a nice shield. Great. Cause a stagger. Awesome. But, you know, why won't why can't we give him back the air game he was supposed to have? Because that was a really good dodge tech when needed. And it really helped, especially against those types of players that like to spam their breakers. So you had this, like, worlds of, like, Akuma just doing this work. Putting it... You actually think I'm just going to leave? He, hey, hey, here's a Trent. Here's a Gore Shoryu. And also, wait, I'm not even done with you, but you know what? I'll wait. Oh, that was cute. You thought that was going to work. Oh, eh, that, that was a funny joke. GG's, by the way. No, nah, that's not how this game... This is not how this game works, Miss Ranger Slayer. Akuma's got to get in there if you start wasting shields. That's number one. Number two, it's a freaking Akuma. Number three, he's probably going to be available for villain raids. So, yay. It helps. EX. Just use Black Dragon. They don't even use Black Dragon. You don't need it. You got a shield. Just use better assist. Uh, but, you know, Akuma... Akuma's not too bad now these days, so... I mean, he's bad in the sense of EP, but not in the sense of... Oh, you can get, like, some free damage in with some combos, yada yada. I'm just, like, kind of baffled by the fact that Akuma... Couldn't at least get, like, one more... Like, a one cost reduction on an attack... But, you know, they increased one on, like, two attacks, both being his main, and he couldn't even lower Gore Shoryu to at least a four, so at least he's a four, four, four down the board. So everything would give him a combo potential. And that's just me. Well, that's a nice combo we got there for Mr. Akuma-sensei. Oh, my God. Next time, watch when you taunt, kitties. Oh my god, that wasn't even a read. That was just absolute pwnage. Hurugan! Telling you, man, it's so weird. It's like, yo, like, let's be real here. Like, if that was like anybody else, like, let's be real. I'm just saying, if that was anybody else. Jesus Christ, that did 1500. That's godly. I'm freaking lose my shields. I went too ham, got too greedy, and I lost. Whoops. But that's uh that's the thing about Akuma. I mean, he gets those hands where like he's stuck. That double breaker actually screwed me. I was actually hoping to use a shield when I could, but he had a punch ready. It was over. Fifteen hundred for a nice three cost punch, and freaking Mez and freaking Akuma legit has to do a full gore show you for eighteen hundred. You see. The difference, folks. Understand why we do these videos. Understand, because it will help you in the end. Try to understand the formula as best as you can. Just use Tommy, because honestly, I don't see myself making it all the way across the board. That's free. Like, look at Trini. She gets a free three-cost attack. Go assure you. Not enough. Oh, well, that was a mistake. Well, you see that? The bigger, bigger mistake, man. I mean, that was like my biggest mistake of them all. Use that, Tommy. Use that, Tommy. 
Save the Gadoken for later, because you're going to need it. Wow, that hit. Another kick. Wow. <laughs> See, you know, Trini... It's interesting. I guess you got the turtle or to get by that. But that you see, Akuma goes through the struggles. Like, I could have probably shot Hadouken, but I don't know the timing on it. He could be waiting. He could be waiting for it. Maybe it is seeable. It is barely seeable. That's the thing. I could have done it, but I didn't. Should have. I mean, I had 10 energy. I might as well have done it. But I didn't. And that just shows, like, it's hard to kind of just waste this attack without going for the full damage. I don't like the waste of good Godoken. The Godoken needs to be savored. Trent didn't even go full, so that was another issue. It's just like one Hellfest for this character. It's so funny. I had a shield, right? I had a shield. Oh, well, you see, that's free damage right there. I mean, once Akuma gets that in, I mean, the, the damage is just all there, kids. Just remember. Like I said, oh my god. What? what you're a defender now? Yeah, you know, does you know assist? They get the, they get the thing. I mean, that's how assists are. You know, it's so funny. I was waiting for you to try to block that because that was the whole point. Hello, kid. All because I jump in the air. Don't mean I'm not doing anything. Just remember. Oh, and I had a time to shield. You probably had a shield in the primary. So, either go sure you. Oh, sure you can. Because who doesn't like a good go sure you can? All right, guys. We're reaching our limit. So, this is our last match for Akuma's You Nerf My Tips and Tricks video. So, we're going to finish up strong. Akuma is um, Akuma's interesting. He is. It's just that um, he just has his ups and downs in some matches depending like if you get enough energy like it used to be you save up the th for eight energy you go into Godoken Gorshoryu that was like a nice combo that's kind of what set him up but I'm guessing that's the reason they want to put Gorshoryu at four because it's like doing the same thing but you put a four on the shield so you might as well put the four on the Gorshoryu so it works it's like dam does damage not under have any understanding thoughts or any of that it's just weird Hadouken! Oh, great. Wow, the fact that you took that, I question your humanity. Oh, God. Well, you know, if you're going to do that... Oh, my God. Yeah, I remember when I used to, I remember when I used to have air game on that. Wow. You know, like, they get free. Do you guys see where, like, I come from, like, understanding what Akuma really is? I mean, the man, the man needs closure. And by closure, I mean some actual damaging closure. Hadouken. Crap. Good. He had a shield in the primaries. He didn't feel like wasting it. And that was our last match. Jesus. Alright, so Virgil Akuma, he's not too bad. He's now in like a class of the A's, not the S's too much. He he has some great instas here and there, but it's like, it's legit kind of like, you gotta play him in a way where you have to get your opponent to stay in the corner or try to trick your opponent to come to you to use it. It's very, it's very interesting. It's a, you gotta play smart when you do play Akuma these days. So you just gotta make sure everything kind of syncs up. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. You nerfed my tips and tricks video on Akuma. Uh, please like and subscribe. And thanks for always supporting your boy, Wolf Thunder Ranger. And our special shout out to you, Mr. Psycho Challenger. Be good and stay safe, kids.